Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny, you're watching Divine by Destiny. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is replanting my mom's front garden bed. So we're gonna start from this bush and we're gonna go all the way to the container over there by the fox fern. And we're gonna be doing this in sections just so that we can get, you know, an aesthetic and kind of see what we wanna redo, but there's a lot that needs to be redone. So I'm gonna take out some of the plants. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna take out and I'm gonna show you the plants that we're gonna be inserting today. I know what this is because it's pretty much, it was pretty much just overgrown because my dad is out of the country and has not been maintaining the garden. So there's a lot that needs to be done. This is a crepe myrtle tree that needs to be staked. So we'll be working on that as well. And then you see some roots. So again, my mom had already took a lot of plants that were in here out, but we're gonna be redoing pretty much everything. See, like, I don't even know what that is. This is pretty, this is foxtail fern. But pretty much we're gonna be redoing everything. So this section will not look like this anymore. So again, we're just doing this section right here for right now. So the plants that we did purchase already are, we have sedum, we have how many of those? Four sedums, we have coleus, we have, what is this? Angelonia. So we have Angelonia. This is Salvia, I believe. Yep, that's Salvia, Sage. And then this one, I don't remember the name. And then, oh, I forgot these, Vinca. And I don't know the name of those two. So I don't know. I think we may have to go purchase some more plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this done early enough so I can finish this section so that we can move on to the next section. So let me get the materials and we'll be back. All right, y'all, so I don't think that we have enough plants. So I'm just gonna focus on going from the rock to the crepe myrtle tree right here. And I'm gonna try to hurry up and get that section done so we can run to Home Depot before it closes. And then I'll show you the materials that I'm using. Right. The materials that I'm gonna be using today is Biotone. And biotone is a starter fertilizer. So I'm gonna use this to amend the soil. Amending soil means that you're adding nutrients back into the soil because the plants that were already growing there has pretty much sucked the soil dry of all its nutrients and the things that plants needs to grow. So I couldn't find a big bag of biotone. So I just purchased a small one because I knew I already had garden tone at my mom's house. So garden tone, you can use garden tone or you can use plant tone. They work the same, but biotone is basically what I'm going to start out with. That's what I would like to start out with because I know it's going to, you know, give the flowers what it needs and it is organic and it is a slow release fertilizer along with the slow release fertilizer we'll be fertilizing these flowers once a week and i will show you when we go to home depot what we're going to purchase for that okay so besides the fertilizer i have a trellis two shovels we have cow manure and then i have a topsoil i may not use the topsoil because i want to use some black mulch but we'll see cow manure is very good or if you have some compost you can add it to there to your garden bed eat too but i had an extra bag of cow manure so that's what i'm going to use today don't take it personal i ain't lying i ain't hiding i've been grinding multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the hygiene. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on high and heat us. Hi guys, welcome back. It's a new day and um, yesterday it took us a little longer to fill in the spaces. We'll take out the mulch, but we did remove the, it was ended up being a cypress tree right there. So that has, not a cypress, uh, um, what is that? 
Ooh, I forget. Crepe myrtle. It was a crepe myrtle tree. So I did end up removing that. And I switched the flowers around. And I'm going to quickly keep show. The, the sedum how it was just like this in a line. And then I did kind of stagger out the coleus. Now for the salvia, I kind of went in like a drift. I have three of the salvia. And then the angelonia, I put in like a drift to go down like this. Now I'm going to probably end up trying to curve it some more. And then we have the sage right here. And then we did go to the plant nursery. And this is a gardenia. And these grow about two to four feet. But I can keep this trimmed. And it's a dwarf. So it's going to grow slowly. And I kept those two plants right there. Because those get 14 to 18 feet wide and high. So these are the rest of the plants that we purchased today. So we have a fire bush, which get two to four feet. We have the ones from yesterday, the vinca. And then we have two, I think these are, what are these? I don't know how to pronounce this. Let me see if I can focus this. And then this is a bushing daisy. And then we have some white vincas. So let's see if I get it all done. That's the other side that we need to finish, but that is probably going to be in another video because I just need to go ahead and finish this. So let me go ahead and set up the camera because like I said, it is raining. So I want to get it this done before it starts pouring down. right here is we're gonna do a blue i think it's a blue called a blue juniper and then we're gonna do some blue my mind morning glory all around here and then we might fill this in with some kind of salvia i don't know i'll see i'll see so this is what we did today we did from the rock all the way to the other crate myrtle tree so we have i'm gonna list that plant in the bottom in the description bar because I, I don't know what the name of it is but we have the sedum going along here and then we have a drift of the coleus and then we have the salvia right here and then this is the angelonia those are sage plants don't know what those are and then that is the geranium and like I said the geranium grows two to four feet so it, it's a slow grower so it, it's, it'll fill in and as the time goes on i'll show you how it looks but this is how everything is looking so far and i hey y'all so thank you for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is a new series so you're going to be seeing us transform everything in the garden beds as far as my mom's house is concerned the next step is to plant from the crepe myrtle to <laughs> the fox fern right there and then we're also going to be redoing that planter so you stay tuned that should be posted in the next week thank you for watching happy growing